printed auto blade or flip knife and assembly instructions this is all 3d printed no extra springs so what we have is the return spring uh, latch goes in there this latch it plugs in if you look just there plugs in there now there's got to be plenty of Vaseline applied um, it's just petroleum jelly um, I've, I've already done this one because I wanted to make sure it did go together without it too much trouble sometimes you might need to file um, a couple of little bits um, any dog tail ends and things that, that might be left over from the, the plastic print so the next part is the blade there's a little bit of uh, build material on the back there that could be scraped out if you want but it doesn't affect the performance that should be able to slide in and out quite freely and you can see that it will latch at the end there like that press that in and latch at that end that's okay if it's nice and smooth nice and free then this This goes in here that sometimes you might need to just lever out lever out that spring to kind of allow it to go in. So there you go. As you can see, one end pushes the spring in there, and that pushes the spring in there. Keep this in the middle so it's running free and then put the spring on that's it and then the cover will clip into place pull it out sometimes it just catch like that just pull it out, reset it One thing to bear in mind is, is warping. This can turn into a little bit of a banana shape on the end there and there. Now if it does that, that's going to interfere. Now you can get a bit of a heat gun to, to, to stretch it back. It depends on how good your printing environment is. If it's printed in a hot environment, you might not get these problems. There is a little bit of warping compensation in the inside. Um, so that it sinks down and allows it to come up a little bit but it can be a problem at this end you, you've just got to keep your eye on things make sure nothing gets um, binds up so there you go 3D printed